talked about the word balance. <laughs> uh, it's getting philosophical. I could actually encourage people to take a step back and think from a historical perspective. We've been blessed in the last 11,650 years with an incredibly stable climate. That is exactly what has allowed us to basically grow as a species. Increasingly, in the last sort of 150, 200 years, we're now having a negative impact and are destabilizing the environment. Planetary boundaries is a very helpful concept because it allows you to understand what that scale of human expansion has had in terms of its implication on its environment. There's ocean acidification, ozone layer, fresh water overuse, agrochemical pollution, there's biodiversity, toxic waste, air pollution, forest degradation, and climate change. It's very useful thinking about them individually, but it's also thinking about their interconnections. If you start with climate change, as this increase in temperature occurs, we get more and more extreme weather events. Now, what happens is as you get more and more, say, droughts, more and more wildfires as well, that causes forest degradation, right? Because you get forests going up in smoke. But not just wildfires, also forest loss, especially related to agricultural land expansion, it means we encroach on the natural habitats of many species, some of them endangered species, and that causes biodiversity loss. And so there you can start seeing those interconnections between those planetary boundaries. Planetary boundaries as a framework and the scientific evidence around it is what informs our house view on how we think the environmental transition is going to unfold. And how it's going to unfold in the real economy will have incredibly material implications for risks and returns in financial markets. Actually, as of today, there's only a small share of the economy that is quote unquote sustainable. It's growing quickly, but for now, the investable opportunity for strictly green portfolios is still a relatively small investment universe. Regulators, and the Europeans in particular, have decided to be a bit more forward-thinking and they have formalized the framework in order to bring more transparency and more credibility to what is and what isn't a sustainable economic activity, a sustainable investment. What that is very likely to bring to the markets in the next couple of years is a reality check. But we need to understand again, back to planetary boundaries, that we are facing an environmental crisis that extends well beyond just the climate question. The market also has a responsibility to think forward and have solutions which are robust, transparent, so that they, they can integrate other environmental dimension in their investment decision-making when it comes to the financial sector in particular.